Hi, I'm back with another video, and this time it is my pumpkin spice French toast. I've been craving that. I thought it sounded kind of good. I've made French toast in the past. It wasn't horrible, but it wasn't like the greatest in the world. It was actually pretty good. I was surprised for my first time making it by myself. And so this time I was like, I want some pumpkin spice French toast. As you can see, it kind of burned a little bit. But um, I decided to go ahead and go look at recipes, see if I could find any that you know could help me figure out what like how much pumpkin pie pumpkin pie pumpkin puree and like pumpkin spice to use and then I thought about using some more recipe but a lot of them recipes were kind of hard to a lot of lot of ingredients so I decided to do um, a half a cup of milk like I think it was like three eggs um, I, everybody said like a half a cup of pumpkin puree um, I used what was left in my pumpkin spice which was like a teaspoon or something I used a teaspoon of vanilla a teaspoon of regular sugar because I saw sugar brown sugar salt and so I decided to do just the sugar and then I whisked all that together and I have to say that pumpkin puree pumpkin spice it all made it smell really nice it was like this real nice pretty light brown color and it smelled really good and then I buttered the pan down and then I added it I put the bread in as you can see I used like regular white bread I let it sit out for a little bit before I used it to see if I can make it a little bit um, might stale I guess you could call it a little more hopefully to make it take in the um, stuff and not fall apart and so I put it in the pan and it, as you can see it kind of burned on the sides a little bit and then I wasn't going to add any caramel sauce and some whipped topping, but I decided to go ahead since it got kind of burned looking. And I have to say it actually tastes pretty good. I can kind of taste the puree and the pumpkin spice. Maybe next time I'll use like the, the um, brown sugar because some people were saying the brown sugar would make it sweeter. I'm not sure what the salt was going to do. But I might in the future try it with like the brown sugar and maybe the salt. And see if it's like you know the salt and the sugar or the brown sugar and the salt to see if it comes out to better like a little more pumpkin-y but I could taste the hints of it and then the caramel sauce and of course the whipped topping made it taste good but I'm actually really impressed with my first attempt at a pumpkin spice French toast I hope to try this again in the future maybe like I said maybe use somebody's recipe in the future kind of get ideas from everybody on what kind of how to do it and see if I can improve on it and then like I said maybe use somebody's recipe but for my first attempt I have to say it actually tastes pretty good it may not look as pretty with the uh, burnt around it but it does taste pretty good thank you for watching bye